Hey there, I received this flight controller. And before I worked on it, it looked like this. So, in this video I will show you how you can replace a micro USB port on your flight controller. And it's pretty simple. All you need is a soldering iron and a hot air station. But enough of talking, let's go! So first of all we build a small area around the micro USB port. In order to do that I use captain tape to isolate all the parts which we don't want to blow off with our heat gun. When we are ready with our area, we grab our soldering iron and solder all the joints which are connected to the micro USB. In my case, the pins of the old micro USB port were still in the hole, so I took the soldering iron and some tweezers to pull it out of there. So just apply little heat and then poke the rests out. After that I applied a little flux and get the solder joints ready. So in order to do so I used desoldering braid and applied a little heat with the soldering iron to get the connections ready. After we prepared the board I had a look if the new micro USB port will fit in there or if I have to bend some pins to get to the right connections, but in my case it worked flawlessly. To be quick on the board I applied flux to get the solder melted pretty fast. Now I took the new USB port with tweezers and put a hot air station on 360 degrees Celsius and on maximum airflow because I don't want to get the board too hot and also don't want to blow other components off when it's too hot. As you want to prevent overheating for all the components, you want to move the hot air gun all the time. In my case I was pretty lucky as there weren't so many components in the way of the micro USB. After I was done it looked like this. Before we do our first test if the USB port is working again, I put some isopropyl on the board to get it clean and also to get it cooled down now. To get the board clean you want to use a small toothbrush and gently scrub over the USB port. And since we're done replacing the USB port we can do our first function test. And you can see the lights are blinking, so this is a good sign. So now that we know that the flight controller is powering up, I took it to beta flight to see if the gyro is working correctly or if there's any problem. And as you can see here, the gyro is working flawlessly. So we are done with our replacement. And as always, if you didn't like the video, don't tell anybody how you spent the last minutes. But if I helped you, I'm happy if you leave a like and subscribe and watch the upcoming videos. I'm posting at least one video a week to get more beginners into this great hobby. So stay tuned and see you next time. Ich habe diesen Flugcontroller geschickt bekommen. Und der... Oh, <lacht> ja, uh, da ist der Micro USB. Da, da. Ah. Sollte man auch richtig rumhalten, ne? Nochmal. <lacht>